Hello everyone out there on YouTube land. Once again, Brother Alan Hemsley here. I'm finding myself having to make yet another video directed at someone. And it's a famous person this time, Snoop Dogg. Snoop, I was down when you were a rapper. I like some of your songs. Gin and Juice was... Probably the best one I liked. But listen here, you little punk bitch. You got more money than you'll spend in 20 lifetimes than your children could spend in 20 lifetimes. You don't know shit about the blue collar worker. You done sold your soul, you dumb bitch. And yeah, I'm calling you a bitch. I'm calling you a punk. I'm calling you out, Snoop Dogg. Bell Allen Hensley, 578 Main Street, Apartment 1, Cobleskill, New York. You a man, Snoop? You in the right, Snoop? Come try me, boy. And I'll show you what a true gangster is. What a true mean, rough, tough, don't give a fuck man is what a true alpha man is and I'll guarantee you Snoop Dogg you'll be running back to Cali with your tail tucked between your legs crying if I even allow you to leave I might just decide to chain you up and treat you like what you think you is, a dog. Make you eat dog food. Make you pee. Make you shit when I tell you to. Straight te treat you like my little punk. Like he's my hub, my bitch. I bend down, Snoop. You ain't nothing. Yeah, I know that I put myself out there and you might roll up. Well, have some of you boys roll up and shoot up my joint. I know that. But here's the deal, bitch. You do that. I'll find where you live out there. Because I'll live. And once I'm healed, I'll find where you live out there. And I'll knock on your door. And when you answer, I'll punch you in your face. And kill you with my hands. But that's only if you try to, to do me. Now you want to fight me. You step up to me like a man. You say you's a man. You step like a man. To me. Because boy I'm telling you now Snoop. You ain't got a clue in the world what it means. To be blue collar. He's a drug dealer who sold his soul and got in the rap game. That's all you is. A criminal who didn't get caught. Well, guess what? I'm a criminal too, boy. I was. A lot of years I was a criminal. And yeah, I only got caught when I told them I was going to do something. And then I still did it. And they still had trouble catching me. Think about that. Snoop, you ain't nothing. You's a rich, entitled piece of fucking shit. Who should stick to fucking rapping. Better yet, just stick to keeping your fucking mouth shut. You had your 15 minutes of fame. Now shut up. Move back to the fucking obscurity where you belong. And be happy that you could provide for your kids. Oh wait, you don't provide for your kids. Why? Because you take that money and get high. Like a true drug addict, punk. 
You get high and let the Democrats control your life. Snoop, try not getting high and thank you for yourself. I'll tell you now, thank you for yourself is a fucking awesome high. Living your life how you want to live it legally? Man, better than any dope you could have ever done. Trust me on that one, son. Now here's the deal. If you don't like the president, you can try to vote him out in 2020. It won't work, but you can try. Or, you can get on board. Whether you like the man or not, you can respect the office. And get on board, and at the very least, support the office. You get it when that punk, who was a traitor, not even born in my country, which is America, was in office. You can do it for this man. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Because he's white, and you're against white supremacy, like, and he only does white supremacy. Bullshit. Uh, long story short, I had Bullshit. permission to go visit her. He straight doesn't do white like supremacy. Then, uh, later if he did, um, he wouldn't be given his salary so at all to any family of color. The last family he gave and his salary to? So, uh, African American. Uh, Ooh, a, a working class African American uh, family. Uh, that was barely keeping their head above water. Think about that, boy. So how about this? Either you support the president, or at least the office of president, and keep your yap shut, or get the fuck out of my country, you traitor, communist piece of shit. I grew up with an old saying in the 80s, in the 70s, 60s, so forth and so on. That saying was real simple. Better dead than red. Punch a commie for mommy. But I changed it to kill a commie for mommy. I hate socialists. I hate commies. Because I've seen where those ideas lead and what devastation it wreaks to a country. I've seen it firsthand overseas and I'm seeing it someplace I never thought I'd see it here in my country. I was born and bred here. My family goes way back more than yours ever will, boy. Considering of my Native American heritage. So here's the deal. Snoop D O Double G. Either support the president. Or get the fuck out. You said if he won anyway, you were gonna leave this country. Well, the fuck you doing still in it? You need someone to pack for you? I'll go to your house. You pay me money. I'll pack for you, motherfucker. Get the fuck out. You move out of this country. I'll go to your house. I'll pack it up and I'll send it to you. Or shut the fuck up. Support the office. At the very least, respect the office. And the fucking strength it takes to do that job. Because that takes a lot out of you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. It drains you to do that job. Because the weight of the country is on you when you're the president. Think about that. You don't have two seconds to yourself. Think about that. Now I've said my piece, and I've been very calm about it, I feel. Even though right now, if you were here, I'd punch you square in the face. The ball is in your court, Snoop. Balls in your court. Man up. 
be a man. At the very least, support the office. Will be a sheep. And keep going with the Democratic Party. And when they take your money to pay for these illegals and these ragheads who come here and just get on welfare, do me a favor. Let me be there so I can laugh in your stupid face about how I was right and you were wrong. No, I'm not racist, boy. I ain't got a racist bone in my body. However, I do call him as I see him. And right now, Snoop, you're acting like a textbook definition of the word. That you fucking black people, thugs, get mad when a white man calls you. It rhymes with bigger and starts with an N. So how about this? You want some? Come get some. You don't like me? Bite me. But you damn well better support the president or at the very fucking least the office. Because it's not easy. And at least he had the balls to run and win. So he had the balls to put up what he was saying or shut up. Well, Snoop, do you have the same balls of putting up or shutting up? Now, thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you like what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, which I'm quite sure no one will, of course, hit the thumbs down. Give uh, subscribe to me if you want. Hit the uh, bell notification so you can get future uh, notifications of future videos. And may whatever you believe in, bless, keep you, and have a nice night. Well, nice morning. It is 1.50 in the a.m., 0.150 hours, Zulu, 1 a.m., 150 a.m. So, may whatever you, bless, you believe in, bless, keep you, watch over you and yours, and have a, hap, a belated happy uh, New Year and an extremely belated Merry Christmas to everyone. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.